All right, everyone, welcome to week three of Intro to Biblical Languages. We are going to really jump into Logos this week and use it much more than we have in the past. Uh, so this is kind of the first trick that I'm going to teach you, other obviously than doing the word study. This is the first real trick uh, to make Logos kind of do some things that are going to help you for this class. So this week we're going to be focusing on nouns uh, in the Greek New Testament. And in order to do that, we're going to focus you on the main four categories of nouns, which are nominatives, genitives, datives, and accusatives. Now for your homework, you're going to be asked to look at some of these types of nouns. Uh, and so I want to show you how to use Logos to make these very apparent when you're working with them. So here's what we want to do. I've already navigated uh, myself to the English Standard Version of the Bible, uh, Romans 1. Uh, so all you have to do if you don't have this open uh, is open your library, type in ESV. That will be the only thing that shows up. Uh, and then it will open up. I will have it as the only thing in my pane, uh, and then you would just navigate by typing in Romans 1 into the search bar. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to Documents, click on that, and you'll have a list of things. Uh, these are all of your kind of personal things that you can do. You can even do a word find puzzle. They have all kinds of fancy things in Logos, but what we're going to be focusing on this week is the visual filter. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, I have untitled visual filter four as the name because apparently I have three other untitled visual filters. I'm going to rename this Romans one nouns. Okay. So now what you want to do is where it says search all Bible text, you want to actually change that, um, to, uh, all, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, the easiest way to do this is to go up here in the top corner and click morph that's going to give you all the things you want okay so i'm going to rename this again as romans one nouns my apologies uh, and then instead of all passages you're going to want to search just romans one i've already created this label you can create a label by going here typing in romans one then romans one and saving it i'm not going to do that because i already have it I'm just going to select that and you'll see it's been replaced there. And then instead of in all resources, we want to search the ESV. And then instead of Logos Aramaic morphology, because we're not working in Aramaic, we want to go to Greek morphology. Okay, now we're all set up. We're going to go to the find box. Now what you want to do is type in at. It's going to give you a list of the parts of speech. We want nouns. So click noun and then click nominative and then format it by selecting a highlight. I just like to go in order so I'm going to choose blue and then you're going to do this for each kind of noun so we accept the vocative. So we have our nominatives, now we're going to get our genitives. Format those in green, get our datives format those in orange and then we will get our accusatives and we'll format those in purple. All right, now that we've selected all of our nouns, uh, I'm not going to rename this because I already actually have this created. Um, then if you go to your English Standard Version, you will notice uh, that it has already highlighted all of these things for me. Now, um, it's done that because I've created that filter. And if you go into this little, these little overlapping circles, you'll notice I have a lot of filters here. Um, I have my Romans one nouns already created. Okay. So now with this information, you should be able to navigate most of the things that I ask you to do in your homework. All right, um, so the homework's going to ask you to answer questions based on what you've got here. So it may ask you to look at the nominatives in the first verse, in which case you would look at Paul, servant, and apostle, because those are highlighted blue, notating that they're nominatives. If you ever get confused or you can't remember which ones you marked with which color, 
the easiest way to check is to just put your cursor over one of them and you'll notice down in the bottom left hand corner it's telling me the Greek word for Paul which is Paulos. It's telling me it's a noun, nominative, singular, masculine. So now I know all of the nominatives are blue, whereas if I hover over Christ, uh, which is Christos in Greek, noun, genitive, I can remember that all of my genitives are green. That's just a quick shortcut for you. All right, so this is basically what you need to know in order to navigate the first part of the homework. Now, the second part of the homework is going to be another word study that you have to do. Um, in this case, you're going to be taking a look at the word righteousness in Romans 1.17. Okay. Uh, for those of you who struggled with some of the logistics of Logos uh, before, I'm just going to demonstrate this quickly for you. Um, if you right-click on the word, uh, you want to make sure that this bar is on lemma and not root or manuscript. Uh, the root is going to give you all kinds of data that you're not going to be able to do anything with. Uh, go down to Bible Word Study and click on that. Uh, and this will open up several things for you here. The one thing you're going to be working with uh, at, uh, on this occasion uh, is going to be the occurrences. Okay, so we have our translation. You looked at this last week where you looked at the four most frequent translations for the word uh, raised um, in Greek. And what you want to work with is this graph over here. Uh, if you click on it, it's going to give you a pie chart of all the books that this word occurs in and the frequency in which it occurs. So you're going to have to work with some of that information. Uh, and you can go ahead and close that if you're done with it. Uh, and then you'll also be working with the senses. Now, you may or may not have uh, as many lexicons as me, and so I don't want to make you necessarily look at all of these things under uh, the lemma where you're getting a bunch of different definitions. Instead, I'm going to have you look at the senses because they're quite useful. Uh, what this is going to do is give you a good look at all the words uh, in the entirety of the Bible um, that end up being translated as righteousness. And they're going to give you a sense of what the word means. And so you're going to be working with making some sort of meaning out of the word righteousness in Romans 117 based on all the information you have here. So those are your tasks for this week. I hope you have fun doing them. And as usual, feel free to email me or call me with any questions that you have. Thanks.